Hi, my name is Joe DiBartolomeo. I am an Oregon personal injury lawyer. I have offices in Astoria, Oregon and in Hillsboro, Oregon. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what I call the third phase of litigation or the third phase of what happens after you file an Oregon injury lawsuit in Oregon. Now, I made a couple of videos that talk about the first part of the litigation process. And basically in that video, I covered the the how it all gets started the filing of a complaint which is what the injured person files in court the answer that the defense or the person who caused the injury files through their lawyer and then in the second video which i call part two i talk about generally how the parties exchange information and the different tools that are available for each party to obtain information before the trial now in this third part or this phase three, if that's what you want to call it, of the litigation. It's kind of a anything can happen kind of thing, but I'm going to go through it in a way that maybe provides you different possible scenarios of where things could go after phase two. So again, let's review. We filed our lawsuit. We've exchanged information uh, with the other side. So that means we've provided documents each of the parties in the lawsuit have had their deposition taken. That's where sworn testimony is provided prior to the trial. So we kind of know what the other side is going to say at trial. Um, we also may very well have had our client go to an independent medical examination and we may have that report and we kind of know what that doctor's feelings are about the nature and extent of our client's injuries. And in many cases, it's not favorable to our client's case. So now we kind of have a little bit of a preview of what may happen at trial. Now in Oregon, the rules are a little bit different in that we don't need to disclose a whole bunch about what our game plan is at trial. And because of those rules, our state is affectionately known as a trial by ambush state. So walking into the trial, there could always be surprises. So we know that going into phase three. Now, phase three really is the point where all the discovery is in that point up to the date of trial. And basically what's going to happen here is we're either going to settle this case or we are not. And if we do settle the case, then there's going to be a possibility that we do it the old fashioned way or the more relatively modern way of having a mediation. So, and I meant to say mediation. So the old fashioned way, what I mean by that is the attorneys representing each party now have a fairly good idea of what the case is about. They think that they can sort of anticipate how this may come out at trial. Now in a personal injury case, the outcomes are defined by the amount of money that a jury feels is appropriate to compensate the injured plaintiff. The other metric that may be involved is whether the plaintiff, which is the injured person, can prove that the defendant, which is the person who caused the injury, is legally responsible. So those are the two metrics that the attorneys are going to look at. And what will happen is there will be a frank discussion about settlement values and what a good settlement would be. Now in Oregon, when you have an injury lawyer, that injury lawyer has to report back to you when offers are made and that decision is made together, whether to accept or not accept an offer. But that's the traditional route. The more modern route, which is not so modern, it's been around for a while, is to hire a mediator. A mediator is somebody who acts as an intermediary and basically goes between back and forth to the plaintiff and the defendant and tries to get each side to kind of come together to an area where maybe we can get that case resolved. And, and as, as I explained when talking about the traditional route for settlement, we're talking about dollars. So injured plaintiffs make demands, defense attorneys and insurance adjusters make offers. There's an exchange of offers and, and demands, and hopefully we can meet in the middle somewhere. That's a mediation. The mediator is somebody who has experience in handling injury claims and settlement discussions and is usually somebody that both parties agree upon. 
it's not usually, it actually, that has to happen. Nobody's going to force a mediator on anybody. It's going to be a voluntary exercise. So that's mediation. So that's if the case settles. Now, if the case doesn't settle, then we're talking about ramping up for a trial. So we need to line up witnesses. We need to get our exhibits together. We need to meet with our client to talk about the process of a trial. We need to make sure that all of the papers that the court wants before the trial are filed, like uh, jury instructions or um, motions to keep evidence out of, of the jury's view. Motion, we call them motions in limine. Um, witness lists, uh, exhibit lists, things like that. But we're basically getting ready for that trial, which is, is pretty labor intensive. So that's the other way things can go. Now, it's still possible that before the trial happens, there could be some last minute settlement, but really settlement discussions, at least most of the time, are going to happen before people start making that financial investment to put their case on for trial. So that's just a snapshot of that final third phase of what happens before a trial occurs. And the thing also, I'll leave you with this thought. Most cases do resolve before trial, not all of them, but most of them do. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you have questions, check out our website. You can contact us. And if we're not able to help you, we will find somebody who can, or at the very least, we will point you in the right direction. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Thank you.